and made my way back to the promenade deck by way of the grand staircase where I came across a small party of Irish immigrants struggling to find their way to the upper decks. Which way to the lifeboats, man? Well, you could keep going up the staircase or you could take the lift to B deck and then... On second thoughts, I'll show you. Walk this way. Lifeboat number 16 was one of the last to be lowered into the water. Mary Burke and Kate Burke were pushed into the boats by stewards, but then decided to exit. Hurry up now, ladies. There isn't much time. I won't leave my husband. Please, madam, stay seated. No, help me out. I need to be with my husband. Madam, please, sit down. This ship is sinking and we need to get all the boats launched as quickly as possible. I refuse to leave my brother. Come on, Kate. We're getting out. Go on, Annie. You get in and take her place. I look after Mary and Kate. I don't want to go without you. You must, Annie. And come on, take wee Jimmy with you. I'm afraid the boy is too old. Women and children only in this boat. But he's just a boy. Sorry, ma'am. I have my orders. Women and children only. Now, hurry along, please. <laughs> but, oh, but officer, please, look at him. He's just a wee lad. away. Get in, please, madam. Would you let the wee lad aboard? He's just a child. Lower away. Would you have some compassion, man, for God's sake? Lower away. Steady as she goes. Just give me a moment, officer. Hurry up, chef. Miss, do you have any children? No. I have a daughter, Agnes, whom I love more than anything else in the world. I bought her this music box. Would you be so kind as to make sure she gets it? You're my only hope of making sure she does. Please. Please. Can you let her know how much I love her? But why can't you give it to her yourself? As a crew member, it's my duty to make sure all the passengers get away safely. There may not be a boat for me. Please, my dear, take it to her. Tell her I was thinking of her and her mother at this time, and that I did my duty. I promise I will tell her. Please, help young Jimmy get into a boat. Do what I can, miss. There are still some collapsible boats to be done. Thank you. You're a good man. God bless you. And, and you keep safe. In you get, ma'am. Women and children only. Annie! Steady as she goes. Jimmy! Jimmy! No! <laughs> Annie! <laughs> By 2 a.m., the water was only 10 feet below the promenade deck. At this time, bandmaster Wallace Hartley and his musicians ceased playing the lively ragtime tunes that had kept passenger spirits up while they had been boarding the lifeboats. Hartley stood alone and began to play Nearer My God to Thee. He had always said it would be the hymn he would select for his own funeral. The other instrumentalists returned to join him, one by one, in what was to be their last performance. At 2.10 a.m., Captain Smith entered the wireless room for the last time. The sea was pouring onto the forward end of A-deck, and Titanic's tilt grew steeper. You have done your full duty. You could do no more. It's every man for himself. At 2.17 a.m., Titanic's bow began to submerge more rapidly than before. On the aft deck, hundreds of second and third class passengers were gathered, and Reverend Thomas Biles gave absolution to the many passengers who were awaiting their final moments. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Collapsible B was pushed off the roof of the officers' quarters and landed upside down on the boat deck. On the other side of the ship, Collapsible A was in the process of being loaded when the bridge and the boat deck went under. A wave swept both boats off Titanic, and many of Collapsible A's passengers were washed out in the swell. Abandon ship. Abandon At 
2.18 a.m., a huge roar was heard as Titanic broke in half. The lights blinked once and then went out, leaving Titanic visible only as a black silhouette against the cold, starlit sky. The aft section of the ship became vertical and remained there for several minutes. The remaining passengers hung on desperately as Titanic began its descent into the cold, dark Atlantic waters. Hold on, Sylvie. I'm so cold. I can't hold on. I'm going to fall. I can't hold on any longer. Hold on to the railings with me, my dear. She's, she's beginning to go down. Hold on, child. Hold on to me if you need to. Don't worry. We'll, we'll find your mother. Yeah. Oh, I will. Titanic dived beneath the surface. The cries of those in the water filled the air. The screams continued for several minutes, then died out. Gradually, the air was filled with a deathly silence. <laughs> 